everybody, it's from Bark here. And what I'm doing is taking a thermal selfie using my new FLIR 1 thermal imaging camera uh, made by FLIR. And uh, this is connected to my iPhone. You can also get one uh, that will work with your Android products as well. But uh, basically, it's pretty nifty. Uh, it's a device, it's got a couple cameras built into it. One is a, like a real camera, and the other one detects the thermal images. And it's handy for a variety of things, and I'm going to go ahead and just give you a little demonstration with it. By the way, I'm not wearing sunglasses. These are actually my normal clear glasses, and they just appear dark because they're not as warm as my face. In the box, you receive the camera itself, which you can see has the two cameras in the front, a case to hold it in, and this is a really nice snug fit uh, to protect your little lightning plug right here or if you have an Android it would be the uh, you know the other style connector not shown is a short power cable that allows you to uh, plug in and recharge the camera that has its own battery I set it down on the table with like five other cables that are identical to it and I can't remember which one came in the box but it does come with one if you don't already have 19 others from all your other electronic devices I am so proud. I know that you're gonna get So why would you want one of these besides the fact that they're wicked cool? You can use it to help locate ceiling joists, wall studs, and leaking pipes. You can differentiate between hot and cold pipes, spot overload circuits, and make a range of home assessments, improvements, and repairs much easier. So like if you wanted to find uh, areas where air is leaking through your window so you could seal it up better. It'd be good for that. Here's the water heater. So you can see these pipes are radiating some heat. Probably should put some insulation on those. This is the wall on the other side of the water heater where the hot water pipe runs up through the wall going to the uh, bathroom and the kitchen, I imagine. So this is interesting. Here's a line of heat that goes along the ceiling. terminates in this outlet. So that's something that I need to investigate. There's nothing plugged into that uh, thing either. Outdoor recreation. Uh, the FLIR one lets you observe wildlife, day or night, with a low intrusion level. I actually wished I had remembered I had this with me a couple days ago because I was up at my lot and the neighbor's dogs were crashing in the woods and I could hear them but I couldn't see them and if I'd have had this, if I'd have remembered I had it in my pocket, which I did, I could have pulled it out and spotted exactly where they were would have been pretty cool, but I failed to do that, so sorry, folks. The FLIR 1 can also help you cope with emergency conditions, giving a clear picture of a situation, even in a smoky environment. So if there's a power outage, the device can help you find your way in the dark. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's just like, uh, I want to say like night vision, but that's not technically right because night vision amplifies ambient light, and this is actually reading a different light spectrum altogether. But it's pretty cool. You can walk around it right in the pitch black and, and pretty much see everything. I'm outside. It's daytime right now, and the wood stove is running. Uh, you can see the chimney a little hot at the top there. What's cool is I actually have the temperature feature turned down so you can see the temperature of the thing I'm pointing at. Here we're getting some heat through the windows. Looks like we're getting a little excess, excess heat up there in the corner. I might need to put some caulk in or something to uh, seal that up a little better. Here's a use for the FLIR camera. As you can tell, I got some nice fat ribeyes here that are not quite room temperature to go on the grill yet. In the directions for this, it suggests that you could use this to test meat that you're cooking. I don't think that this is a, a feature that this device is capable of doing. It's just doing surface temperature. There's no way this is telling what the inside temperature is. These have not been on there that long. That is not 180 degrees. I'll tell you that right now. It's been on there for like two minutes. All in all, this is a pretty neat little device. Uh, you, you know, you just have to decide if it has enough features for you to shuck out the bucks it takes to get one of these things. But uh, I have to say it's a lot of fun, and uh, I've learned some stuff while using it, so 
I'd have to say I really like it.